Okay guys, you're looking at my uh, garage radio, that M33. Little problem. I've been playing the radio after getting it back in the cabinet and uh, it's worked really well, but uh, for whatever reason I've got uh, oscillator drift. First thing I did was uh, grab a uh, replacement 6A7 tube, which again is the uh, oscillator for uh, this particular radio, thinking it may be defective. Uh, placed another one in there that it seems to uh, again have the same issue. Now a couple of things that are suspect you can see that I did not replace the uh, mica caps here uh, which are typically known to be good and the oscillator section of the radio. This is my uh, 600 kilocycle patter. I think there's a problem with it as well. There seems to be a lot of sensitivity around that so I think part of my problem it's uh, twofold. Um, the uh, patter itself and I'll probably end up having to take it out and uh, you know just check it out, maybe do some cleaning there underneath the plate, figure out what's going on there. But I think I got things narrowed down using some uh, component uh, cooler as such, and uh, then using some heat as well. I think uh, this particular capacitor seems to uh, indicate uh, the biggest issues with stability with uh, any slight uh, thermal change. Again, I'd mentioned I've got my uh, signal generator, I think, set for uh, 700 uh, kilocycles. And uh, you can see where I'm at on the dial right now. I'm not even close to that. So I've already got drift right now just sitting here. Or I have the radio misaligned on the uh, patter itself. Uh, due to the intermittent nature of it, so it could be uh, both. All right, let me go ahead and hit this with some component uh, cooler. You'll hear the little bit of popping in the background. We got some storms uh, moving in on us as well. Let's see where I'm tracking on the dial now. Okay, closer to where I should be, I believe. I'm looking at this thing upside down at an angle. Let me try to apply some heat, just briefly. And you can see that I'm uh, drifted again off frequency. So you can see I'm all the way down uh, what in between uh, 600 and 650 uh, kilocycles. Let me uh, get in here and get this uh, particular capacitor replaced uh, if these storms hold off. Again, I don't have the uh, silver mica caps with uh, great stability to put in here. But uh, I'll place another cap in there on a temporary basis that should be better than what's here. And uh, we'll see if we uh, improve the uh, stability here in the oscillator section. And again, I still got to get back over here and uh, do some uh, deeper checking on this uh, pattern adjustment as well. You can hear the radio just came back when that uh, heated back up. Okay, here's the uh, capacitor again that's in uh, question. You know, and this may not even be a uh, mica capacitor. I may look at it. A lot of these that look like mica are nothing more than uh, paper caps. So I may have to do some uh, research on that. That may be the case uh, right here. So let me go pull a schematic here and uh, check this out and uh, confirm the uh, value itself. Okay, guys, you can see I've removed the uh, patter here for the uh, low end. And again, it hooks to the oscillator coil here for the broadcast span and back to the band switch. Anyway, here's the uh, patter itself. Um, I chipped just a small piece of it away trying to get it out. It was so uh, tight, but it's a uh, 600 picofarad, and uh, that's also 
uh, of course denoted on the schematic as well as on the uh, patter. Here's the problem though. If you look at this, the uh, screw adjustment, the uh, phenolic material that was around the top of it itself had uh, softened up and broke loose. So again, it appears that the uh, two plates, this being the plate here on the top and the plate on the bottom, separated by uh, numerous mica pieces, I could not uh, put enough pressure to close those or they were again intermittent in nature where they would bounce up and down as such and uh, change the uh, capacitance. Again, these two plates, this one being on the top, the one on the bottom, more separation equals uh, less capacitance, more capacitance, you know, the closer they're together. But there's a, a quick solution to uh, repair that. And uh, let me show you what I've got. I've got uh, two fiberglass washers here on uh, each side of a uh, rubber washer that was uh, most likely around the same thickness. So I think this will serve me well. I'll put this back in. We'll get the uh, LCR meter up and check. Again, if I tighten this all the way down, I should be able to get somewhere near 600 picofarads. And I don't want to go any tighter than that, but there you have it. I may throw more, one more fiberglass washer on here on each side. I see just a little bit of bowing as I tighten this down. And then uh, let me get it reinstalled back in the uh, radio here and uh, see if we can stabilize the uh, performance. And you can see now I have them doubled up. Alright, I have the uh, patter issue corrected. Again, I use those uh, nylon washers as well as a uh, rubber washer. So what appeared to be happening, again, is I would tighten down the uh, patter. Since I already had the uh, cracks in the material here, it actually released itself. So I created more spacing between the plates, uh, thus uh, decreasing my capacitance over time. So that's why that was intermittent. And then here's this uh, bizarre, uh, we'll call it a mica capacitor. It actually may be a paper cap. But you can see the uh, results here on the meter right now. A minute ago, I was down in the 200 picofarad range. Now I'm in the 361. This thing should be reading around uh, 1,000 uh, picofarads. So it's uh, way out of spec. Then again, it changes, but you can see just by applying a little bit of heat. And again, going back to uh, some component cooler itself. I was able to uh, quickly identify the uh, defective cap. And while I was in there, there was another cap in that same oscillator side for the uh, broadcast span, the 500 picofarad, and I went on and replaced it as well. Here's where I made the repair itself. Um, again, you can see the uh, pattern right here. And again, it says 600 uh, mmf, again, which is equivalent to picofarad. And uh, there's the uh, 0 0.001 microfarad or 1000 picofarad capacitor that was defective going to ground. And this was the other mica that I replaced here, the uh, 0 0.0005 microfarad or 500 picofarad. Again, there's a few more in there in the other bands, but everything seems to be stable now. Uh, this is a keeper radio for myself, so if uh, I have additional issues, I'll get in there and swap out the others. Anyway, I hope you uh, found that helpful. just shows um, you know, what you can do, again, by using just a little bit of uh, coolant spray, doing a little troubleshooting, and um, again, I probably should have done a wholesale replacement of these caps as well. And again, assuming this is a mica, I think the lesson learned is never assume that uh, all mica capacitors are actually uh, good. You can see this is way out of uh, spec.
one more look at it here. Let's see where we're at right now when we turn it back on. <laughs> see how low it is. I was down in the 260 range, so 358.4 picofarads, and again, I should be at 1,000. So, uh, way, way out of tolerance. Thanks again, folks, for joining. Take care. Thank you.